Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Bloodborne. This is part 16 of my blind playthrough. If you'd like to see the other videos, they're in the playlist in the description. Or you can just look for them manually if you feel like that's too much convenience. Uh, so in the last video, we defeated Ludwig, the Accursed, and Martyr Logarius. And we also did a bunch of other stuff that... Uh, was just kind of like general housekeeping. We accessed the DLC for the first time, the Old Hunters DLC, and we pretty much made our way through the entire first area, the Hunter's Nightmare. We've got some chapel up ahead and some hunters, and I'm told that I missed something big in the room where I killed Ludwig. So don't worry, I'm gonna make sure that I got everything up to snuff before we move on. Uh, if you didn't know, by the way, the DLC headstone is up here. I think I cut it out of the last video. I felt really stupid wandering around here like, well, how do I get back to the DLC? It's this one. <laughs> the one that the doll's sometimes praying at. So we're going to awaken at the underground corpse pile. Charming name. Okay, here we are. So. What'd I miss? Y'all were acting like I was missing something pretty obvious. Oh! Hey, it's Ludwig's head! It's still moving! You can talk to it! Good hunter. Have you seen the thread of light? Just a hair, a fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. Uh, riveting conversation. I keep waiting for him to stop and he won't do it. Can I talk to him anymore? Okay. Well, I mean, if that's the way it's gonna be, then. <laughs> oh, is that it? Okay, what, what do you got for me? Pick up item? Holy Moonlight Sword! Oh, you shouldn't have, Ludwig! And actually, this is a great segue, because there's a few weapons I picked up in the last video that I didn't look at. I looked at the Beast Cutter, but I didn't look at the Beast Hunter Scythe. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Or the Boom Hammer. Uh, so we're gonna look at those and the Holy Moonlight Sword. Let's look at the Holy Moonlight Sword first, though. Sorry, that's not how you look at the item. An arcane sword discovered long ago by Ludwig. When blue moonlight dances around the sword and it channels the abyssal cosmos, its great blade will hurl a shadowy light wave. The Holy Moonlight Sword is synonymous with Ludwig, the Holy Blade, but few have ever set eyes on the great blade. And whatever guidance it has to offer, it seems to be of a very private, elusive sort. Wait, the Holy Moonlight Sword is synonymous with Ludwig the Holy Blade. Somehow, I don't see it. So this, and this, are the same sword? I... okay. Just looking at the scaling here on the right, it appears to be an arcane weapon. In fact, it requires arcane 14 to even use, so I don't think we'll be using it. Uh, not, at least not on this file. The Beast Hunter Scythe, though, um, is a skill and arcane weapon, looks like. A second blade is found inside the curve of the main one. In its initial form, the scythe can be wielded like a long, curved sword, but when transformed, its blade is contracted, allowing for quick, repeated stabs. Although this trick weapon allows for adaptive combat, it was later replaced by saws and similar weapons that were more effective at disposing of beasts. Okay, so basically what it's saying is don't bother. <laughs> Boom hammer though, this is a strength weapon. C scaling, nice. Um, crafted by the powder kegs. A giant hammer equipped with a miniature furnace. When ignited and fired, it emits a volley of flame that explodes furiously upon impact. Crush the beasts, then burn them. The brute simplicity of the boom hammer was favored by hunters with an acute distaste for beasts. I have an acute distaste for beast. That sounds like me. Okay, so there's two hunters here. I think this is it. Like, I don't think there's anything else here.
Are you kidding me? Okay. Um... This is, this is great. I was trying to get the jump on him and it just didn't work, whatever. It's been, it's been a while since I last played, so I'm, I'm a little rusty and that's all that happened there. What? Hello? Who are you? A tragic figure. Oh, right. But he will shame himself no longer. He died with his ideals untarnished. He was a true hero and earned that much at least. Thanks. Are you gonna come along and give your peanut gallery comments for every boss I defeat? Do you know why the hunters are drawn to this nightmare? Because it sprouted from their very misdeeds. Things that some would rather keep secret. A pitiful tale of petty arrogance, really. High time someone exposed the whole charade. You mean me? Are you gonna be like the final boss or something? Are you okay? Well, you, I feel like you're following me around. I don't really like that. Just look at this guy. This is just pathetic. He's like, oh, fear not, fair maiden. I will stand in the wings and uh, defend your honor. Come on down here. It's safe down here. Come on, this is how you always, you gotta cheese it. You gotta cheese it like this. Okay. All right. No, I get it. No, uh, yeah. I deserve that, I guess. Let's go. Okay, I was about to say, dude, how are you not dead yet? Give me a break, bro. What'd you leave? Madman's knowledge? I wasn't that mad. <laughs> now, what do you got? Oh, this is it, huh? This is all you got for me. Oh my god. Yeah, bro, you're lucky the other one was here. Come on. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was tough. Wow, what am I supposed to do against this onslaught? Beware the frailty men. I remember Vicar Amelia citing this little prayer. Interestingly. Man, how long has it been since y'all hit me? <laughs> I'll knock your freaking block off! <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for that. 11,000? I'm sorry, 11,000 blood echoes for that? Insert eye pendant. Hang on, we gotta wait for the blazing inferno to pipe down before we can do this in peace. Okay.
It, fi it, it just stopped. Insert eye pendant. So this is the surgery center or something, right? Because we got this in the Grand Cathedral by that fiery cleric beast. Clutching it in his little claws. So what's happening now? All right. New area or what? Oh, nice, new lamp. Very cool. Wait, no, I didn't. How far down was that? It couldn't have been that far. That's pretty far. Okay, that's pretty far. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's bring it up. <laughs> let's bring it back up here. Sorry, I didn't know that standing on it was gonna cause it to move. Let's keep. Uh, let's go ahead. See what's up. Ooh, the research hall. You. I know I hear an enemy in the background, but I gotta get my bloodstone chonk. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Wait, is that another nightmare over there? I can't tell. I think it is. Give me my chunk. Yeah, two bloodstone chunk. I'm, I'm just getting these guys like candy now. Chunks, that is. That's what I'm talking about, being like candy. Okay. I don't know what this thing is, but I want to like get behind it. Look, it's cleaning. It, this reminds me of the servants at Kanehurst. Or wait. Oh, the research hall. Is this part of... Read the signboard. Laboratory floor one. Is this like some part of Bergenworth? Oh my god. Look at these. Oh, wow. Whoa! It goes way up there. Okay. Yeah, cause like the it looks like the lecture building. All right, let's see if we can get a uh, sneak attack. Oh. Oh. I thought you were an enemy. I mean, I guess it could kill you, but oh my god, it's poison water. Oh my god, it's poison water. I didn't know that. Okay. You know what, I'll, uh, pfft, uh, give me a second. I'll, I'll look for your eyes later. Let me go kill one of your friends real quick. <laughs> oh wait, they were freaking out up here. Now they're all fine, look at that. What was that all about? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Maybe they won't care about me though. Will you care about me? Oh, you care. For some reason, you care. How many blood echoes do you give? Oh my god. All right, man. No, I get it. How about this? How about this, though? Okay, it took a little longer than I wanted it to, but I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay, who else, huh? Okay, we can go up there, or we can go up here. Let's look around. What is this? Oh my god, this... Patient room 4-2. Alright. What are you doing over here? Hey, do you have eyes? Oh my god. Do you see that? Do you see that? That was quick, huh? Fleet of foot. That's me. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? 
I want to try something. Um, not this. Uh, yeah. Okay. People tell me to do this. <laughs> you can just hold it there until your stamina runs out. That's cool. So that's the L2 attack for the saw. Okay. All right. I'm excited to use it. God damn it. Okay, no. All right, no problem. <laughs> Ooh, I like. I would say me likey, but I'm uh, not a Neanderthal, so. What the, okay, what? I'm gonna have to reassess. <laughs> what was up with that? Excuse you? Oh my god, I love it. I love that attack. Check this out. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. I was trying to hold it out. It didn't work. I, I can't. I need. I, I can't force it. I can't force it. It's got to be natural. Oh my God! Excuse you. Hey, you want to do this, huh? Oh my God! There's so many of these things. What are y'all called? Like students or something? I'm over it. Gotta watch out. Yeah, I can't force it. I was just I was just having fun with it. I, I wanted to use it as much as possible. Look at the wasteland here. That's right. You're all dead. Now Where's my friend's eyes? Ew. There's like some kind of slug over there. How do I get there, by the way? Do I hop down from somewhere? I'll keep a lookout for that. Okay, but sir, yeah, I can hear you. Pipe down. How does anyone get any work done around here? That's enough. Shut up. Okay, I'm going to get this thing over here. Give me this. Sedative. Which I haven't had to use yet, thankfully. I was about to say, was it just you making all that noise? Oh my God. Look at y'all. Hi. Here we go. My God, I, look at how many blood echoes I have. I have so many. Kind of like a kind of a good place to farm them, I guess. Do I ascend? Uh, I'm sorry. Are you all just like waiting for me right here? Because if so, maybe I'm gonna. No, no. Oh, they got weapons. Okay, so you're a big one. I get it. Hi. Oh, die. 3,500? 3,500 3, blood echoes? Ooh, you're worth a lot of money. There's a big bounty on your head, boy. 
and I took it. Who paid it? I don't know. Uh, some of them just have more blood echoes than the others. I don't make the rules. Uh, whoa, why is it so, oh, I'm not going down there, not yet. <laughs> Maybe later, bro. Um, okay, I guess I'll just keep going up. Where am I now? Oh my god. Look. Oh my god. How many enemies are here? There's even church dudes. Oh, sorry. Two antidote. Okay. So you're gonna poison me? Sorry. Oh my god. I did not know that you were here. Oh my god. Okay. There's a machine gun guy up there. I'm glad I spotted that. Do you see him? Machine gun guy. There he is. Amazing that these guys aren't getting pelted with bullets. I guess they worked out some kind of deal. Can I... do you have... oh, hand lantern, there it is. Yeah, okay, this will help a little bit. And then what's up here? I don't know, but I'll take this. Dirty, damp, blood gem five, that looks pretty powerful. I... It's so powerful, I got a trophy! Blood gem master! I've never gotten that before. It must be pretty good. <laughs> I'm excited to check it out when I get back home. <gasps> that's okay. Okay, that's 73 key blood echoes. We gotta get that back. Okay, that's that's not acceptable. At least it's on the ground though. At least it's 73k blood echoes on the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> I was doing so good. It's okay, we got we got the whirligig saw. We're happy. Okay, going going straight up. Hi. Don't die. Of course, I'm talking to myself when I say that. Don't die. Oh, huh? Huh? I like the saw. Like... There's something about serrated weapons in this game that I really like. I'm not sure exactly what it is. So something... something gets me about them. Oh, wait. Is that where my blood echoes were? Wait. Wait, no, 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 no. Where are they? Oh, no. Are they not just, like, on the ground? They might be on the stairwell up there. Okay. Well, we don't have to go through, like, the whole thing that I just went through. We can... I think we can go up this way. And it's quicker. Why is there no railing on this side? Who constructs staircases with no railing? Cheapos. Imagine if I wasn't at full health there and I had died. Oh my god, I would have been so mad. This is. Ow. I, you... Okay. Alright. He's waiting for me. It's me. Oh my god. I had the cannon out. Oh my god, I had the cannon out. And I just, like, blasted him off the face of the earth. Oh, oops. Laboratory 4-3. Oh! Are you, like, an NPC?
Lady Maria. Hmm. You're praying to her? Okay. No, I need my blood echoes and I need them now. Oh my god, he came he came back up. Oh, you're so stupid. Wow. I knocked you all the way down there and you came all the way back up to fight me? Learn when to quit, bro. No! No! Oh, that's so bull! Where were they? Where were the blood echoes? All the way up there? Oh. I mean, I'm crying over it, but it... 70k blood echoes is one upgrade. So... If you think about it, really not that great. I, I, I lost one upgrade. Like, I can get that back in like two seconds, okay? Look, I mean, these guys give like 800 each. They're, they're nothing. Here, I'll just, I'll just kill all of them. I'll just kill all of them again. We'll get back up to 70k. I know that we got like 20k from killing the hunters. And that makes me sad that I'm not gonna... Huh. Oh well. That's there every time. That's there every time. That trap is there every single time. You know what's weird too? When I open the store, it stays open. Ah, what the hell? Let's go in. Hi, what's up? Oh my god. No. What, here's another one? Here we go. You like that? Huh? You like that? That's very satisfying. That's very satisfying to do. What, we all like manufacturing beast blood pellets? Weirdos? And so what, I... Open this? Where's this go? Is this like a shortcut of some kind? Could have used this earlier. It goes down, weirdly enough. Oh. Oh. That one's chained up. Oh, wow. So y'all been experimented on. Oh, and this leads back out, and this is lab floor one. I see. Uh, so can you, you Lady Maria? Can you talk? Yeah. No. You're someone else. Yeah. What's up? Please, could you do something for me? What? I need brain fluid. Murky, mushy brain fluid. Please. Uh, you need brain fluid. Okay, if I find any brain fluid, I guess I'll let you know. I also need to find eyes. I need to find brain fluid and eyes. Like, and then there's that one that was praying that probably wants something too. They all want something. How am I so good? How am I so good? The answer is, I'm not. I'm just lucky. Okay. Now we got, we got that big one here. I gotta beat again. Okay. Man, this thing is, <laughs> those things are tough. I know I need to go that way, I just, like, not right now, you know? Not when there's this out here. Gotta do more. Oh my god. Ah! 
You actually, you actually can't get to him. You actually cannot get to him. He's across a little gulf there. Unless I'm missing something. Ooh, that makes me angry. Mmm. And I don't know, I don't know how you're supposed to dodge the bullet fire there. That staircase sucks. I have like 40k blood echoes. We just gotta get back to it. We just gotta get back to it. Okay. Oh my god, I cannot believe that! Look, he's over there. Look, he's over there. Bruh. I'm gonna come up right behind this guy. Oh, this is gonna feel so good. Oh, did you fall? Oh, did you fall? You can't be serious. Where are you shooting from? Oh my god! By the way, there's a hunter right there. What? How? Oh my god, this is horrible. Wow, wait, are, the, are these things headless? What does that mean? What? I'm not really sure what it means. Man, this is like a blood echo factory, though. I guess they're just, they don't understand what's happening to them? I don't know. <laughs> what, what the hell is all this? I could do without that happening ever again. What does it even happen? I'm just walking past it and it's gushing out. Something kind of weird to say. Who's in here? Really? No one? It's just blue elixir, huh? Enlarged head. Oh my god. They're doing frenzy damage to me. They're. The heads do frenzy damage. Good thing I'm, I've only got 22 insight. Oh my god, what the hell? How'd I miss that? Look at the... There we go. What the hell? So I got a head. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's it's that wasn't even a joke. Uh, so I got one. Is it a key item? Right, enlarged head. I want to take a look at it. Queenly flesh. Right, that's disgusting. What? Is it a chalice material? No way. No. You can wear it. An enlarged head of a patient of the cathedral with a cavity that just happens to fit a human head. Although one would be mad to try it on, but if you do listen carefully for the sticky sound, drip, drop, as water seeping up from the depths slowly, steadily. Okay, you know we gotta do it. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, this is not fitting my fashion-born aesthetic. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take it off. And uh, I'm going back, I'm going back, you know what? I I'm going back to the classic. Okay, I just can't go down that hunter. I can't fight him. That's basically the only thing that can happen. At this point, the only thing that's gonna kill me is some cheese. Like machine gun guy on the stairwell, right? Or a hunter. That's pretty much it. What is this? What am I looking at? Laboratory floor five. How many floors are there? Oh, you want me to what? You want me to what? Oh, it goes down. Oh, there's a thing. You can hop out there. I can't believe I'm back here. Okay. Uh, I think I might want to go like spend my blood echoes. I don't know, it just feels, it feels like I should do that. I've got a lot. I don't know, what do I care? 
What do I care? Let's just keep going. Should I keep going? Uh, uh, let's use the thick cold blood. And uh, this should be good enough to get two upgrades. Yeah. Oh, 37 vitality. I'm, I'm getting close to 40 vitality. My dream. <laughs> and uh, I mean, while I'm here, might as well just get a uh, two or oh, three blood vials. I can get three. Okay. And now I'm going to go back. No worries. No worries. We're going to go back. Hello, friends. Watch this. Oh, bye. Oh, that must be frustrating. Oh, right there. I got to hop out right there. Hang on. Right here. There we go. What's this? Uh... Is this anything? The light's coming in right here. I don't know if that means anything. Probably not. Oh, there's that hunter right there. Oh, a hunter. And yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm gonna go up behind him. Try to get a sneak attack. Don't alert him to my... Okay, well. Did that not even... That didn't even hurt him. I mean, good luck against this saw, dude. I don't even know what I would do. Ow. Like, oh, you're nothing, dude. You're nothing. That was it? Oh, I don't know what I was so worried about. You didn't do shit. Uh-huh. Okay, well, okay, wait, do I put it on too? Hello. Lady Maria, I'm a Robin. Will I ever grow up and become an egg? What say you? Lady Maria. Lady Maria, say something. Anything. Huh. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. How about this? Brain fluid? You had it the whole time? Wait, look, she's back. Lady Maria, what, oh! What's a say oh! Something? I could just kill her and then take it! Oh! That's nice. Wait, how do I get over there? I need that stuff. Can I hop down from here? I feel like I need to get a staircase from here up to there. The big double doors? That's gotta be something. All right, brain fluid. Let me look at that. Where is that? Extracted from a patient whose head expanded until that was all that they were. Once a young girl had an older brother who was determined to become a doctor, and so she willfully became his patient. In the end, this led to their encounter with the Eldritch Truth, for which they consider themselves blessed. Ah, yeah. Everyone is real... <laughs> They're real happy about the Eldritch Truth, right? Uh, they all look like Resident Evil villains, but... Oh my god, it has a hatch. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh wait, no, I actually... Hang on, I actually want to give the brain fluid down there, so... Guess what? I got your brain fluid. Please. I need brain fluid. Yeah, no, I got it. Here you go. Oh. Thank you. You're terribly kind. Now what are you gonna give me? Oh, it's wonderful. Okay. Oh, 
I hear the sticky sound. Do you hear it too? No. Nope. <laughs> oh, I know. Will you have my blood as thanks? Sure. You know, I was once a blood saint too. So do come back if you ever run dry of saint's blood. Oh. R saint's blood. <laughs> oh, I'll have you. So do come back. Is that what I have right now? Is that the blood of Ariana? Is she a saint? What well, was once forbidden. Interesting. I mean, if these are all like Bergenworth people, then they would know. Hmm. I'm trying to figure this out. Uh. Oh, you're stuck in the floor. Flawless game. Okay, so wait, what what happens if I just All right. Cuz look, this is what I find so weird. Oh my god. <laughs> Rones of unusual size. R O U S S. See, this is why I find weird. This, because I, I was observing this earlier from up there. This goes nowhere. And I don't, I mean, maybe I'm supposed to just like pop down here and then maybe we can like rearrange the stairs. Oh, this goes out, okay. And then that's inside. Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't have messed with me. I'm 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 equipped with like a giant saw. What do you think is gonna happen, bro? <laughs> Frenzied cold blood. I still wanna know how to get to that slug thing over there. I'm guessing we we have to rearrange the staircase at some point. So what is this? Laboratory floor two, okay. Oh my god. They have a bit more... Oh my god. Oh, you're already after me, huh? They give a bit more blood echoes because they have a, a lot more HP. <laughs> Decorative old hunter garb and old hunter trousers. Nice. I already kind of rocked the old hunter look. I think this suits me a lot more now, being Mr. Blobhead. Mr. Blobby, I guess you could call me. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go up. Such a huge area, this research hall. Oh my god. Okay, so... It brought me back up here. Oh, that guy's already dead. So that really didn't do anything. This continues to be the place I need to go. Right up here. Okay, well, I didn't kill him, but whatever. I got him out of the way. So up here, this is the only place in the research hall I haven't been other than that dark room back there, which I guess I'll... You! Uh... I... We'll just say it. I hate this guy. Especially in close quarters. It's just uh, my least favorite enemy by like a mile in this level. Hate him. Or her. Hate it. Hate them. Oh, we're just like in the rafters now? Oh, brother. Okay. Well, the, I see a glinty right here that I'll happily take.
bro. You know what? I'm just gonna go over here. Can I help you? The crows are closing in on me right now, so as fascinating as this is, we gotta wrap it up. Okay, what, what are you? Bloodstone Chonk? You used to impress me, but now I'm looking for blood rocks. So, pay up. If you got any blood rocks? Should I just kill this guy? I'm just gonna kill him. I just killed him. He didn't have anything to offer me. Oh, he literally didn't have anything to offer me. I was hoping that you would have, like, eyes or something. I guess not. See, look, this rotates. What'd I say? You rotate. Don't fall. Where? Oh, you're right, you're just right there. Are there any more? How about this? Okay. There's more of them. I can't believe this. Okay, which way do I go? Operate device? This way. It's got a canonized direction, right? We'll be able to see it. Wait, no! It's just moving me up! I thought it was gonna rotate the... What?! Okay, bye! Why am I all the way up here? I mean, this is cool, don't get me wrong. Uh... It looks like there might be a thingy? There's a ladder over there. Ooh. Okay, first of all... Did I get anything good? Brain flu- I got more brain fluid. Do you say it's like the same thing? Have you heard how curiously the sea churns? Like a storm. But like the rain, only gentle. Like dripping water. It bellows from deep inside of me. All this nonsense is going on. I'm just Here checking to make sure I'm still recording. through my insides. But gently, like little droplets. Mm, badass story, bro. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> see ya. Okay, look, see, there's a... Uh... Now, where does this go? Wait! It came from where I just was. Oh look, it connects now! what I tell you, it connects! I didn't realize I did that. Wait, what's this? What is this? Gimme, 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 gimme. Fine strike, damp, blood gem. I'm gonna have to check that out. That's probably pretty good. Hey, uh... Wait, how do you get down? <laughs> Is it this way? Must be. Oh my god. They just rushed me. They just ru uh. It's the, the ones without the patient uniforms are the crazy ones, and there were three of them there. I should have known better. Well, but the whole thing has been rotated, so I wanted to do that again. What are you doing here? Oh, hello. Not a pretty sight, is it? You? No. The true face of the blood-worshipping, beast-purging, healing church. But that's not all. 
You seek the secrets held by the nightmare, do you not? Sure. Then here's what you must do. I thought we already went over this. <laughs> Climb the astral clock tower and kill Maria. She hides the real secret. The real secret. Go on. Kill Maria atop the astral clock tower. She hides the real secret. I like how in Bloodborne, the NPCs, like, whenever they're like, You got a problem? They're like, Go kill some beasts. Go kill Lady Maria. Whoa, lethal damp blood gem. Wait, let me get this. Kin cold blood. Was this here all along? Okay, what are these slugs? What do you do? Do you do anything? I'm getting like... I get like 1200 from killing you. They got the bag heads. Oh my god, there's so many of them too. I mean, this is pretty good profit. This is pretty, this is pretty nice. They don't even fight back. What are these orphans or something? They're, they're kids, right? Or <laughs> something like that. It's, everything in this game is meant to like guilt you at some point. I figured out. It's like, yeah. Okay, no, I don't feel bad anymore. Hey, you know those beasts in Old Yarm that you were killing? Those were people. Hey, you know those little worms you were killing in the orphanage? Those were the orphans. Man, uh, come on. I don't care. If they give blood echoes, they're fair game. <laughs> I say bring them on. I only wish there were more. What does this door do? I've been curious about this. First floor balcony. Locked. Eh, something tells me... That's a, uh... Oh, there's still one I missed? Oh, can't have that. Oh, this opens the... What, you? Oh, you'll be okay. I guess she's beyond this door, huh? All right, give me a sec. I, I have some unfinished business to wrap up. Like this crap over here, I want that, whatever that is. And we'll go into the dark room. We gotta uncover what's in there, too. Oh, 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 down here! Oh, it finally connects! Lock shield. Okay. Uh, well, what is that? Is that... Oh my god, it, it's literally a shield. Huh. An artisanal shield crafted with blue glass. Originally used to safeguard the leader presiding over a sacred healing church ceremony and later supplied to tomb prospectors, in particular those exploring the labyrinth of Ist. Which reminds me, we got we gotta still go through the chalice dungeons. Um, I'm gonna try to make it a priority to get through more of those. The blue is fashioned after a lake, and the shield greatly reduces all forms of non-physical damage. Does it? Or is it a troll? I don't know, I don't trust that. I'm a little disappointed by that. Is it all for a shield? Die, what's this? It's four quick silver bullets. It was four quick silver bullets. Underground cell key? Oh my god. You really. You really scared me. I did not know that you were there. That was terrifying. Okay. Am I safe up here? Hunters are held within the underground cell, so that things better left unseen and knowledge better left unknown will decay quietly in the fallow darkness. This is for the cell, um, directly after, um, yeah, Ludwig. Should I go back down there? How do I go back down there? 
The dark part is like the only place I haven't been, I'm pretty sure. They're going ape shit over there. Is everything okay? Okay, unfortunately, there's no ladder. So here we go. Did it hurt? Yeah. What all is here? Okay, sure. Yeah, you don't need to ask me twice. Die. What'd you get me? Nothing. He didn't give me anything. Help me. I'm guilty. I know. But I won't do it again. I promise. The dumb darkness. It... It frightens me. And what rises from its very depths. Yeah. That's rough, huh? I got you. I won't let you suffer. Oh my god. No, enough of this! No! Goodbye! Mercy! Mercy for these guys. Let's get out of here. How else were you supposed to get down from there? How else were you supposed to get down from there? <laughs> uh, no, I don't know how else you were supposed to get down from there. It didn't seem possible. Okay, well I think I've gone through everything in the research hall that I can go through. So now, I'm afraid we have a date with Lady Maria, who I imagine isn't so much a lady at all, she is a monster. But we'll find out for sure soon. What I have? Oh yeah, this, because I look cool with it. Actually, should we switch to a, a church weapon, as you guys told me this is called? All right, is it safe to say that we can't find this guy's eyes? Yeah, that's what I thought. So I guess, I, I was kind of excited because there were a lot of like, Seemingly, seemingly a lot of side quests. I don't know, but I guess, uh, I guess not really, huh? I thought that I was gonna have to like find people's eyes, find people's brain fluid. The only thing I got to do was like find somebody's brain fluid one time. Anyway, I got the underground cell key, so we're gonna go use it because I think I know where to put it. I'm pretty sure it will unlock this. Okay, so. Grounded by nine, but with steady strife. So who is this guy? But always clear of mind. Ground under the church. Be sir, curse, and curse and shackle. Can I kill you? Or can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? It kind of seems like I can't. Okay. Oh, Yamamura Hunter hat? Kaki? Okay, I don't know. Wine Hakama. Okay. Let's, you know what? Fashion born. Fashion born. Fashion born. Okay. I think this is what I had. It looks okay. We might, we might try it. I mean, yeah, the stats don't seem awful. Okay, let's go back and let's see what Lady Maria is all about. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Ah, quit your whining. Oh, too bad. Yeah, you failed all right. All right, let's go. I, I am turning into a heartless bastard. I, I admit it. All right, let's get it ready. Wait, what? Living failures. Oh, I was expecting Lady Maria. Uh, okay, y'all look like y'all want to get hit by bolt paper. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Not the boss I was expecting. So y'all are like Celestial Emissary. I'm guessing. I guess I just kind of brute force my way through y'all. What is this? Oh! Y'all are wrong, the vacuum is spidering me! Okay, so they called down Rom the vacuous spider ice storm meteor storm thing? Alright. <laughs> okay. It seems like those guys were pretty tanky at least. I'm I am getting like celestial emissary flashbacks. Oh, she doesn't respawn. Mm, that's too bad. Okay, I am back. So they multiply as time goes on. Wow, okay. This does not feel like I should be having as much trouble as I am. It should... It feels like... It really doesn't feel like I should be having as much trouble with these guys as I am. It, I think I'm just getting impatient. It's like... They're so slow. They're not very interesting to fight against. But they have so much health! Like, collectively, they have so much health! Alright, I'm just curious. Summon Yamamura. You mean the guy that I just killed? The guy banging his head against the wall? Are we talking about the same guy? Oh, here. Sorry about this. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh my god. Man, that took long enough. Wow. Curious about this. Okay. I'm doing... I'm doing the damage. Please die. He's got the... He's got the Abritus, uh... Head down thing. Okay, you? You're a troublemaker, huh? Oh my god! 
damn, I was having no trouble at all until that point. That's frustrating to see. That's frustrating to see. I was having no trouble at all to that point. It's just that attack. That's that attack is it. It's the only thing that's gonna stop me. Ugh. I feel like this shouldn't be so hard. No? You get hit by one? You get hit by like all of them. If you get hit by one of them, how are you supposed to recover? I am wearing low arcane armor. So, let's go ahead and fix that. Like maybe 150 could be good. And that's like double of what I was wearing before. Yeah, let's work let's wear a choir outfit, dude. Oh my god. And then with blindfold cap, that's Okay, I just like doubled my arcane armor. I I was like these guys are hitting like a truck. It feels like Maybe this will help. Maybe maybe this will help. People tell me in the comments all the time. Oh, it's fashion born. Oh, don't worry about it. Ten more points in arcane defense won't make any difference. Yeah, you're right. But maybe like... 150 arcane defense points might make a difference. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. I'm getting all smug now for no reason. How did you hit me? That was pretty cool. Hey, you're finally dead. All right. Okay. How? All right. I got high arcane defense now, but I don't want to risk it. I survived! I survived! It made a difference! It made a difference!
Okay. Let's go. Astral clock tower key. Oh. I severely underestimated that fight. I was like, oh, it's like Celestial Emissary. <laughs> Celestial Emissary wasn't, wasn't bad at all. It was actually super easy, barely an inconvenience. But yeah, that one, uh, a bit different. Got a lamp at least. Woof. All right, so what? Now, Lady Maria? Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cool off with a nice, cool, refreshing, cool Chalice Dungeon. I keep saying cool because Chalice Dungeons aren't that cool. Here's what I'm gonna do with the Chalice Dungeons, I've decided. Um, I'm only gonna show the bosses, unless there's something like Super duper interesting about it. Um, I'm just gonna show the bosses, so you don't have to worry. I'm not gonna like show every single enemy and every single chalice dungeon. I'll just show the boss fights, especially since I'm coming into this one again a bit over leveled. Okay, here we are in the lower Tumaru chalice, and this is a depth three chalice, which means that it's gonna be more difficult than the depth one and two chalices that I just did. Um, I'm gonna guess that it's not gonna be super challenging though, because I am level 84, I think. Oh, what's this? It's a spider. Oh, oh dude, do you poison me? I don't know, we'll never find out, I guess. Oh. What was this guy? I've never fought against this guy before. Okay, he's uh... He's interesting. And he's dead. Okay. Yeah, 3,000 blood echoes, so he's no... He's no slouch. I figured I'd show you guys new enemies that I find. It's, uh, so far it's just the spiders and that guy. Nothing else. Whoa! People were telling me to hit the walls in here. And that was, that was a hidden wall. How, how'd I know? I just kind of randomly hit it. So does it give me anything good? The reason I was trying to hit walls in there is because I it's like there was nothing in there. It was like a weird Oh nice. Oh, Sage's wrist, okay. Cool, I guess. Um, it was like a weird empty room with nothing in it, so I was like, there's gotta be something. I don't know. That, oh my god, okay. Yeah, I know what this is. Hang on. Mm, I was trying to get to the chime maiden. That's okay. Okay, so the, the red spiders uh -huh, not cool, not cool. Don't like him. Oh. Oh! He has a crossbow this time! Oh! -ho. I thought he was just like pointing a sword at me again.
Well, that's a damn shame, isn't it? All right. Got this done, and now I can go check out the boss. All right, about to check out the first boss of the Lower Tumeru Chalice. And okay. It's the Merciless Watcher guys again. playing badly. I am playing badly. I was... I'm not sure this is the right weapon for them. Might go with Ludwig's instead. Where my blood echoes? I don't know where my blood echoes are. They're they're like not here. They're they're not in here. It's weird. Okay. So I've decided to stupidly um, damage them equally. It's been a great experiment so far. I feel like maybe the guy with the gun should go first. So I'm gonna focus on him. Oh my god. We're okay, we're okay. So the L2 attack is amazing against these guys. The L2 attack is incredible against these dudes. Like, the stagger that it gives is really good. You can basically just stun lock them. And once I figured that out, this was pretty much over. Now, I do have like a big problem though. And that's that. I want to know where my blood echoes were. They they were just like right here. I thought. And now they're not here. It doesn't make any sense. That was like 40k. I mean, it's not not a big deal, but it's not nothing. What there it is. Huh? Where was it? I have no idea. Wow. I... was I just, like, walking over it? I swear I didn't see it before. Uh, maybe I was just too concentrated on things. That's weird. Alright, layer two. Alright. It was just one of these guys that was guarding it, no big deal. Um... So I unlocked the boss. There hasn't been a whole lot in this one of interest. Just a bunch of, like, flunkies.
Workshop Haze Extractor. What? What is that? That seems kind of important. I thought it was just going to be another... You know... Thing. Is it a key item? I don't know what I'm talking about. Extract Arcane Haze. A misplaced workshop tool from the Hunter's Dream. What? The hunter who retrieves this can extract arcane haze from ritual materials. But alas, spent materials are lost. Okay. Oh, yeah, arcane haze. Right. That's, uh... No, not that. <laughs> That's, uh, isn't it over here? Yeah, this. It's rare chalice materials. Okay. Cool. Nice. Um, that, that's it though. All right, next boss, I think. Undead giant. Oh, I fought you before. Oh, but you've got different. Oh, you've got different weapons now. You used to have two hooks. Oh my God, okay. So now he's got one hook and he's got a club and he fights very differently than the two hook guy that we fought in the very first Chalice Dungeon. Okay, um, gotta say I'm not like loving this. I'm gonna go with Ludwig's this time. I think we stay in a better chance. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna go untransformed. Okay, I gotta get my blood echoes. Thank you. Okay, you're way slower than the other guy. All right. That did, did you see how much damage that did? That did a lot of damage. Why did that do so much damage? That did like a shit ton of damage. <laughs> Weird, right? All right. How'd I do that much damage? Right? Hmm. This is a tough one. I missed. I completely missed the, uh... Wow. How'd I... Ah, okay. You know what? Go on this. That does not, it's like, I think I increase the damage to myself when I do that. Hey, let's do bolt paper. Yeah, I'm like increasing the damage when I... When I dodge that way, I'm... This is perplexing. Oh, okay. Wow. He just hits like a truck, and I don't understand how to dodge it. I did it that last time. I guess the secret is just iframes. I don't know. I'm a little... 
a little perturbed. I also don't know how how I did I did like gargantuan damage that first hit from behind, and then I was unable to replicate it. I could have just I I just had to do that like three times, and he was dead. But I couldn't do it even one more time. <laughs> See, like, like that's not what you do. He does so much damage. That's not good either. See, like I did, I did gargantuan damage that time too, and I don't understand how. And I died. It did so much damage to me that I just died. <laughs> just like that. That sucked. Okay, he's doing different things now. I guess he's in like the next phase or something. Yeah, he's like bleeding at the back. So what I figured out works is like dodging like literally straight towards him. Okay, well it didn't... It didn't work that time. But it worked the other times. What's kind of frustrating here is that when I get hit, it's like two blood vials worth every time. Every time. I don't understand how he hits so hard. How does he do that? How did... I'm like... It's like my dodge doesn't do anything. Like I'm just, <laughs> I'm just moving into position. Here's, here's how this guy hits. He'll, he'll like raise his weapon up. And then you're like, okay, so he's gonna hit like right here, right? But then he goes like. And you're like, you just hit like 360 degrees around you. That was a trick. See, that's what I mean. How am I supposed to how am I supposed to hit that? Okay. Okay, so you can backstep. Oh, he's got a sack on the back. He has a little sack on the back, and when you pop that, that's what does all the damage. Ah. Uh. Okay, I get it now. I was <laughs> trying to figure out the special technique, and then of course he instant kills me. Uh, yeah, so... This guy's pretty crazy. Man, I thought I was gonna have a nice relaxing time, but I guess not. Don't hit me. You missed. <laughs> Okay, so like... For crying out loud, bro. Okay. Oh, that works. Okay.
How dare you? Oh my god, he just, he just instant kills. He just instant. I went in for one hit. I went in for one hit. This guy's crazy. This guy is nuts. Ha ha ha. You can't have my blood echoes. I'm taking them with me. Okay, well this was a sad, sad state of affairs, wasn't it? Uh, let's go buy some blood vials. Alright guys, so I took a little break from Lower Tumeru, and I'm in the Hinter Tomb now. Which, oh my god. Is a lower depth dungeon. But, it maybe has some cool bosses? I was a little disappointed in Lower Tumeru, because... The two bosses that I had seen so far were just repeats. Oh my god, what the hell are you? Whoa! You are nutso! What is that? Arcane Blood Gemstone, yeah, damn straight it is. Holy hell. Oh, that was like the mini boss then. Well, that unlocks the next... That unlocks the true boss. I, I can't wait to see what they are. Hopefully not a repeat. All right, let's see what the first boss of the Hinter Tomb is. Man Eater Boar, and it's just a big, it's just a big pig. Uh, just a big pig, huh? Okay, that was a little disappointing. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it though. Okay, just so you know, uh, this is poison water. They put poison water just in a random hallway in the chalice dungeon. Don't know why. Uh, I guess sadism? Yeah, I can see that coming from a mile away, buddy. Oh, this is kind of a rickety bridge. Oh, look! There's a giant guy down there. Whoa, this is a pretty crazy room. It's kind of cool. It's nice to see something, um... Oh my god. Okay, somebody has a cannon. And I got the fudge out of there. It's nice to see something new, though. I will say that. Whoa, look at this. This is pretty cool. I hate that cannon guy. The cannon giant. I don't know what to call him, I mean. Okay. All right. Farewell. We found uh, Miss Giggles over here. She ain't laughing anymore. Yeah. Oh. What the hell? Let me guess, this is all poison water. Oh my god, you can't be serious. I bet it is. There's snakes here, too. Not only is there poison water, let's test. It is poison water. Not only is there poison water, there's, uh, there's snakes. Okay, uh, I found it in this room full of poison water. Let's move on to the boss, please. I can't, I can't deal with this. Do I really want to do this? Do I really want to do this? Yes. That was satisfying. Not, not satisfying enough. <laughs> Two bloodstone shards? All right, uh, what's this? 
What's this over here? No, hang on. What's this? Four blood vials. Wow. Boss number two, another undead giant. I mean, this one's quite a bit easier <laughs> than the other one. That wasn't even... Oh, I got a Hinter Tomb Root Chalice now. Very cool. Mm. As eager as I am for more Hinter Tomb. You know, we... I thought the Chalice Dungeons were like pretty cool at first, when it was just the first two, and they were all new bosses, and now that I'm starting to see repeats, I mean, the man-eater boar, that was just a pig. I'm a little disappointed. I thought there were gonna be more unique bosses, and I, I mean, I'm guessing the way that it is right now, I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit until I see more unique bosses. I, I'm guessing there's more but I'm just gonna have to wait. All right, here's hoping boss number three is gonna be an original. Fingers crossed. All right, here we go. Boss number three of the Hinter Tomb. And it's... Blood Starved Beast. Oh my god, it's another, and it, there's poison water everywhere. Well, sorry guys, this is kind of a anticlimactic way to... End the video, I mean... We had a new area in the DLC, we had a new boss just in case but I mean I think this is it it's a cool idea to make you fight the blood starved beast again I guess we got the lower hinter tomb chalice so there's actually a bonus hinter tomb chalice is this actually poison water oh my god it is I, I don't know I just I thought I'd maybe give it a shot like Maybe it's really not poison water, but it is. It is poison water. So there you go. Um, huh. Cause like my plan for the rest of the playthrough was to like do a bit of DLC, maybe enough to do a boss, you know, main game, do a boss, and then fill out the rest of the video with some chalice bosses. Just as kind of a, Welcome. What is I don't know, way to round out the video, and now I'm thinking maybe, maybe we don't do that. Because if it's, if it's going to be like that, I don't know. All right, anyway, it's recap time. So in this video, we went to the research hall, and we, oh wait, well first, first, we talked to Ludwig's severed head. And we received the Holy Moonlight Blade, which was a nice surprise. Then we killed a few hunters, and we went through the entire research hall. We defeated the boss at the end there, Living Failures. And then I'm guessing we're going to fight Lady Maria in the next video. So looking forward to that. I also did some Chalice Dungeons. Uh, I went through the entire Hinter Tomb and about half of Lower Tumeru. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to... Let me know what you think in the comments about the Chalice Dungeon stuff, because if there's unique bosses, I want to show them off. I think that's cool. It's it's a bit of a different kind of content than the rest of the game where you're kind of grinding your way through an area. So I thought it'd be important to showcase it. But I was really underwhelmed by the Chalice Dungeons in this video. So let me know what you thought. 
in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Think critically. Thank <laughs> you.